Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. And again, thanks a lot for stopping by. What I want to talk about today, I want to talk about Step 5 in Alcoholics Anonymous. Admit to God, to ourselves, and to another human being the exact nature of our wrongs. And this step can take a lot of courage to muster up. I know for myself, I was very fearful of telling somebody my step four. I was very, very, very fearful. And I tried to avoid it a little bit, but it came to a point in my recovery that I had to need to do it because living sober and not changing was very, very difficult for me. And through the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous, I was able to change my life and it helped me cope with my life without alcohol. And step five was one of the big factors that helped me do that. By this time in the program, you should be feeling kind of comfortable, maybe have a home group, maybe have a sponsor, but definitely if you're gonna do step five, you more likely have a complete step four, right? Of course, of course. A lot of people may feel the, to miss this step. You know, to admit to God or your higher power into yourself, your wrongs, like a self-appraisal, a self-acknowledgement of your wrongs is good enough when it comes to a step five. But rest assured, believe me, it really isn't. I knew the things that I did. Once I did my step four, I acknowledged all that kind of stuff and I had a higher power and I believed in that higher power would help me with the things that I've done and people resented me and the, the pain I was feeling, the hurt, the guilt and the shame. But it's not until I really did a step five with another individual. And there is a couple reasons why we do it with another person. The first one is, it really makes us accountable for what we're saying, believe it or not. You know, taking responsibility for our lives. So telling somebody your step four is a big deal and it will reinforce that you're taking accountability for your life. Another thing is, sometimes our step fours can be a little dark. We can be a little heavy handed when it comes to our step four. Having somebody on the other side of the table or beside us when we're telling it can give us some positive feedback and help us create a balance that we're not feeling so, you know, beat up after the step four. We have a lot of good things that we, who we are, a lot of good things that we've done in our lives. It's how is it all doom and gloom? When we drank alcoholically, a lot of our behaviors, a lot of things we might have said and did rubbed against our moral compass. That's why when we're sober and we try to lead a normal life, we carry all this guilt and shame because of the things we did when we drank. And you know, even for myself, even at the beginning of my recovery, I was still a pretty well a big lunatic. And so working the steps really helped me with that, but I needed to tell somebody what was going on with my life and why I hated these people and how they hurt me and all this sort of stuff. But it made me feel accountable. And this person, his name was Dave, that I did my fifth step with, I would say something and he said, you know, Terry, I can relate to that. I did this. So he kind of evened it out for me and it didn't make me feel so bad. When you're choosing somebody to do your fifth step with, make sure it's somebody that you trust. You don't want somebody out blobbing it. So for me, finding somebody that I trusted was key. It can be a priest, it can be your best friend, it can be your, your mentor, it can be a therapist, it could be a sponsor. But pick somebody that you trust and you feel comfortable with in saying that. But for myself, I found somebody I trusted in the program, but also was key to me is I needed to see that person after I did my fifth step because I thought I was a pretty terrible guy. So if I could tell somebody my fifth step and all the bullshit that I did out there drinking, and all the resentments and the pain and the guilt and all this stuff, all this harm done to me and to others, and they could have a coffee with me the next day, I said to myself, you know, Terry G, maybe you're not such a bad guy after all. I had an excellent mentor in the recovery program that I was in. I had an excellent one. We went through the book, we did all the steps together, we did a fourth together, a fifth together, and it really opened me up and I felt like I was a part of a, a, larger, a larger thing 
after I did the fifth step. I felt like I was in recovery. I felt that, hey, this is not so bad. The fourth and fifth step really helped me sort out what was going on with me. I felt totally out of control until I got to those steps. One, two, three are great steps. We need to do them. We need to be honest. We need to have an open mind, willingness. But fourth and fifth were action steps and they really helped me sort out things and get some relief and some direction in my life. There are terrific things to do. The fifth step made me feel like a part of mankind for once. I felt like I was outside, you know, you know, walking around the pool, not in there swimming. I always felt like an outsider. When I did a fifth step, I sort of started to reunite, reunite with mankind, if that makes any sense. So when you're out there and you're thinking, should I do these steps or should I do a fourth and a fifth or are all the steps hokey? Well, they're not, they're not. If it wasn't for the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous, I would not have the life I had, I have right now. I wouldn't have it. I have sanity. I have a loving relationship. I have a reasonably happy life most days. It's not perfect, but it's a great life anyways. So if you're looking to do a fifth step, choose the person that you're doing it with carefully. Make sure you do the steps in order. Make sure you have a thorough fourth step. Don't worry about how you're doing it, or it might not feel that it's proper, or maybe your spelling's lousy like mine. I was the only one that could read it. Don't worry about that. The only thing to, work, to do is make sure you do it and do it the best you can, that fourth step. And your fifth step, like I said, I think I'm repeating myself, find somebody that you can trust and somebody who knows what you're talking about. Like I said before, maybe a therapist, a sponsor in a program, a close friend, somebody knows what you're working towards. So they're, they're open-minded to you. But don't think that admitting to God and doing a self-appraisal or self-analysis for your, for your fifth step is good enough. We need to be accountable. We need to get feedback from another individual, okay? And we just, and, and when we talk to another person across the table, it really reinforces what we're saying. It becomes just off the paper over to that person that through that conversation, it makes it very, very real and really, really healing. There's a lot of healing goes on there. I was really upset when I did my step five. I was crying, I was really, I was really emotional. But after I finished it, I felt, man, I felt lighter. I really, really did. It didn't, it didn't, it wasn't like a confession. It was like an inventory of my life and I was able to start seeing patterns in my behavior patterns when I drank things that I did in my life there was always some patterns in there and that's where your character defects and your shortcomings for come from is your four step you start seeing patterns but nevertheless I'm all over the place right now so do your step five the key word is action find somebody that you can trust but make sure you do it and do it as quickly as possible because it doesn't have to be, you know, 100%. You can always go back and do another one. Believe it or not, I've done three of them in my life and I'm gonna do another one probably soon. Because after, you know, after a few years, you start getting a little bit of buildup with the resentments and it's, it's always good to go over the program and go over the steps once in a while in my life. Anyways, that's what I find. Okay, I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a comment below. If you didn't, leave a comment below. But can you all do me one favor? Can you please subscribe to my channel? This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and God bless. Stay safe, stay sober, and I'll see you next week. Ciao for now.